Hello, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm looking at the complete Zaha Hadid, another book that we see in James Bond's retirement home in No Time to Die. This is a rarely interesting book, it's an architecture book by an Iraqi architect. We don't often see much reference in the Daniel Craig Bond films to the War on Terror and yet he came onto our screens in the Bush administration and his backstory that was provided online by Eon had him as a former SBS officer, not SAS but the naval equivalent SBS, who had been on missions in the Middle East. We may see some sign of this as we see him wearing some kind of Central Asian robe inspector, but we very rarely have the films lean into this story. Other British shows uh, such as Spooks, uh, which was broadcast in the UK, North America and Canada, did lean into uh, this side of espionage, but the Bond films largely stayed clear of it. Now, of course, Bond is just escapist fun, but the Roger Moore films very much lent into the Cold War. We had, you know, Soviet agents. We had the setting of a Cold War, even though Russia was generally not the antagonist. So I find it interesting that they largely erase real-world geopolitics from the more recent Bond films. They don't seem to want to get into it. But fine, fine. What about this book? Maybe the fact that she's Iraqi isn't important. We see a lot of modernist architecture. It's uh, it's always futuristic. It looks fantastic. It looks a lot like the, uh, the sketches by Ken Adams of some of the more outlandish uh, Bond sets. And I've been to a couple in real life. I've been to Guangzhou Opera House in China and it's supposed to look like pebbles worn down by a river flowing through it. And it does look remarkable. It makes a real impression when you see it and an additional function of it is that as you sit in the kind of the covered arches the the air flows through it wonderfully on the outside so you get the cool breeze as you sit in the shade it channels it perfectly another piece that i've been to is the peak in hong kong and that is a spectacular view it's hard to know what to put there so you can see it but she created a very very modern piece of architecture which certainly stands out so she is a I think a very modern architect and uh, well James Bond normally super traditionalist with the villains tending towards this kind of design but well maybe he's been exposed maybe he takes an interest certainly this is just a fantastic coffee table book I mean I've had it on my coffee table as Bond has it on his and I keep going back to it to flick through and yes yeah, really capturing my interest so uh, well whether it's Bondian or not, I can't say. It's in a Bond set, and it looks like some of the Bond sets, but uh, to be honest, I just really like this. It's a really cool coffee table book. 